Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the Motoko Switch for the HTC One M7. Now, the first thing you'll notice here is that I'm running the Google Play Edition ROM. Now, the Motoko Switch in and of itself, it is a ROM, uh, but really its main function, its main feature is that it allows you to uh, switch between two totally stock Android experiences. So you've got the Google Play Edition, which is a stock AOSP experience, and then you have Sense 5, which is a stock HTC since experience. Probably the coolest part about this is how fast and easily you can switch between ROMs. Uh, so if you're feeling in the mood to run HTC Sense 5, you can just switch back to that. Or if you're more in the AOSP mood, then you can easily switch over to the Google Play Edition experience. So other than that, there's really not too much more to cover about the Motoko Switch, but I did want to show you how quickly and easily you can switch back and forth between ROMs. So we'll go to the Switch. And it says, do you want to switch to the Sense ROM? We'll simply select yes. It's going to turn our phone off and then boot us into Sense 5. So one thing that you will notice is that whenever you do hit the switch, it'll seem to kind of boot into the OS once and then it'll kind of boot again. So it almost appears to be in a boot loop, but it's not. It's simply booting over into the other ROM. And just like that, you're now running Sense 5 on your HTC one. And of course if you wanted to go back to uh, Android 4.3 you could easily do that by hitting the switch. Before we do that I want to show you guys the switch up. Uh, this allows you to uh, check for updates. You can go to the over the air updater ID which will allow you to take any updates that are available for the Google Play Experience ROM or uh, Sense 5. If those are available you can take those here as well. Uh, so that just makes accessing those files very easy very handy. Big shout outs to Paul O'Brien for this amazing development and we'll quickly switch back over to the Google Play Edition ROM. And you know this is kind of the direction that I had hoped that OEMs would take. Um, I'm kind of hoping that OEMs will pick up on this and maybe see just how awesome this experience could be. Um, not everybody likes the OEM skins and it would be nice to have just a switch where you could go back and forth between the Sense version and the AOSP version or uh, if you're running a Moto phone if you could go between the Blur and the AOSP and so forth and so on. It would really just be nice as a consumer to not have to run the bloatware that comes with the phone. You know I understand that a lot of OEMs and even carriers are making extra money on the features that are involved with their custom skins uh, but as a consumer it's just it's nice to have options and to have choices and just as quickly as you switch to Sense 5 uh, you can just as quickly switch back to Android 4.3 and it just couldn't be any easier than the Motoko Switch so guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to click the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the HTC One and other devices. I should be picking up my Verizon variant of the HTC One very soon. Um, as soon as I do, you can expect a root guide. If there's unlocks available, I'll unlock it. If we have S off uh, or Super CID, I'll be sure to make videos for those as well. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.